Hey guys, my name is Rafi and I'm an English tutor at LRDG. Now here's a fun fact. Did you know that Canada has two official languages? These are French and English. When you say official languages, it means both are equally as recognized. You can use both to communicate with the government, with the police, and even with the people. Now, we are not the only country here in Canada who have two official languages. I can think of Belgium, for example. In Belgium, in Europe, they have three official languages, which are Dutch, French, and German. You can communicate equally with all these languages over there. Moreover, Singapore has four official languages, which are English, Chinese, Malay, and Tamil. So we're not the only one. But if you're coming in North America, Canada is the only country that has two official languages. Now some of you might think, well, what about the United States? They have Spanish there as well, right? Well, not quite. Because over there, Spanish is not recognized as an official language. The only official language in the United States of America is English. Whereas Spanish is quite common, you may have you may come across many Spanish speakers, but it is not recognized as official language, which means when you conduct your everyday business, when you talk to your um, official either electorate or the police, when you communicate with the government, it has to be in English over there. So this actually wants me to think, how do we as LRDG help you either newcomers to Canada or those who are already here and want to improve your chances getting a job, getting a promotion, or what have you. Well, the good news is LRDG offers training in both official languages. So if you're a francophone, which means a French speaker, we will help you take your language skills in English up to the level that you require for the many benefits that we'll talk about later. And if you're an Anglophone, such as myself, and you want to improve your French skills, then LRDG will also help you get in touch with your French site and help you improve your French that way. Now, there are many benefits to speaking more than one language. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking it eases your travel so if you want to go around the world you'll be able to communicate with many more people than you would if you only spoke one language um, it also helps you make more friends if you're here whether you are inside Canada or outside abroad overseas it'll help you make more friends um, expand your social circle as well when it comes to work it'll boost your chances for having promotions so you'll get more promotions and faster so when you when you're fluent in both languages here it does matter it counts for something now on top of that I want to expand a little bit and I would dare say speaking two languages especially English and French will help you understand the human condition overall will be more able to grasp the cultures the languages, the customs and traditions of different people across the world. Because as you know, English and French are still the two most common languages spoken abroad outside of mainland China. Because in China it's only Chinese and based on their number of people, number of speakers, you would have that mess with the stats. But outside of China, if you go to Africa, if you go to Europe, Middle East, um, Southeast Asia, even Latin America you can definitely use both and I'm gonna get to that in a minute so you see when you speak English it'll help you learn new languages as well for example I'm not sure many people know but English in its basic grammar is qu is quite close to German Danish which is in Denmark Swedish Sweden and Norwegian in Norway because actually the origins of English language came from Germanic tribes back in the day. Whereas on the other hand, if you speak French, it'll help you learn Spanish, and that's why I mentioned Latin America, Italian, Portuguese, and all these what we call Romance languages that came from the Roman Empire. Okay, so that's in general what are the benefits of speaking fluently our two official languages here. Now. 
For those who are already working in Canada, especially those of you who are in the federal government, you know that the government requires you to have a certain fluency or a certain level of mastery with both languages for certain positions, especially those that are in, in management and higher management. So if you're looking for promotions, you need to develop your second language. Sometimes even if you hold those positions temporarily, you will need to maintain a certain level of fluency, whether that was in written reading comprehension or oral speaking skills, in order to even maintain your position in question. The good news is LRDG will help you all the way there. We are quite familiar with the federal evaluation system. We, are, we know what is required and we can help you get there faster than most other language schools in the country. No, right. So here's a little, a little tip about me, a, li a little bit of a background there. My native language was actually Armenian. So when I grew up in my household, in my school with my friends, we would speak Armenian. And in the country where I grew up, the official language there was Arabic. So I grew up technically with two native languages, which I speak equally um, as well. So I had to learn English growing up as a third language. And right now I'm still working on my French as a fourth language. Um, that's why I find that I can actually understand and relate, sympathize with, you guys learners who are trying to gain English as a second or third language. Working, working in Quebec, however, is a bit different. Let me give you a snap idea about how the country is divided linguistically. So we know that languages, both official languages, French and English, are equally treated the same across Canada as a whole. But when you look deeper, there are some minor differences. So for instance, like in Quebec, where I'm currently residing, French is the only recognized official language in this province. New Brunswick, on the other hand, is the only truly bilingual province in our nation, where you'd have, even though both are recognized similar, this the same, equally, you have a similar number of speakers of both languages basically so we have an equal number of bilinguals in New Brunswick most of the other provinces however mainly speak English so if you have decent French knowledge then your chances of getting promoted is higher over there and if you have a stronger English knowledge here your chances of getting promoted are actually higher that being said I honestly do feel welcome and I feel at home right here in Quebec. My French is basic, but I'm still learning and LRDG definitely helped me. And what I want to say is, with these differences in mind, we are a dual language nation. We're a very welcoming people and you will definitely feel at home if you're abroad and you will definitely improve your chances of working if you're already here working for the federal government. So one more time, my name is Rafi, and on, part of, on behalf of LRDG, I welcome you all, and thank you so much. Have a great dual linguistic day, everyone. Cheers!